So, hey everybody, this is a Cyber Tiger. This is episode 9. Um, we left off in this big fucking castle. I was, I was getting all prettied up and shaved, and I got some real gay looking clothes on. And we're gonna go meet uh, an emperor, I think. So let's let's go get started. Imperial audience. Imgrimi et art kerza. Dyfen aden in carn et marvut. Emir var emres. Wow. All right, I'll bow. No, no troubles. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Oh, I shouldn't have bowed. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Why? Uh, how about she's back? You sure? I I guess this is part of the previous story. I I don't know what's going on. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I'm only doing this for Siri because... I don't know, she, she was pretty cool. And that, that portrait back there is like, super grumpy face. I like, I like Save that. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! I should have bowed with a cock. Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. Disgust. So I wonder if he really is doing this for stay, like, to marry her off, or if it's, um... Or if he's got something else, uh, planned. I don't know, it just seems kind of fishy that you're going to go find some... Well, I mean, I guess you have to marry off your daughter, if that's... I don't know, it sounds like his daughter, I don't know. I haven't played the other games. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm a witcher! Oh, that's just perfect. Did I not request... How do you dye your hair? Is it a brew of parsley root? Nope, she just comes that way. Or... I think it's part of the mutation. I don't know. I didn't play the other games. The scene as far as Yeah. A name. Ra 
Something I can grab? No. What are they doing? Is I can do around here? Hail, Kertzer! Cool throne. Can I sit down? No. Of course not. Why can't I sit down on a cool throne? Looks like some glass broke, like some shit went down. The hunt must have been by to say hello. Oh, a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna take this stuff right in front of you, guard. It's fine. No, no. Don't bother. Not a big deal. I'm not listening to that weirdo. Like the gentleman this and that and they said in what can go out. Anything to do up here? Uh grab this. We got a, a blunt axe. Ah, god, the falling damage. Oh, really quick, I forgot. I need to... Not on this. I need to turn my, my darkness up, because it's, it's fucking dark. Uh, controls, gameplay, display... That's a little better. I mean, it's not as as night, but at least you can see in the dark now. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. That quill sharpened yet? Yes. Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the Church of the Eternal Fire and the criminal underworld. At times, it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triple A shame I have no time. Yep, no time. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna take all this stuff. And all types of shit. Be so kind and do not disturb. A shame I have no time. Can I talk to you? No. Can't talk? Alright, that's fine. You just keep you keep warming your hands. I'll I'll be on my way. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. What a slut. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look. That's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Yeah, all grown up. That. She's grown up. 
It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it. Perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the wild hunt does. Why does the hunt even want her? A wild hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. I'm so in the dark, I wish I would have played the other games now. Like I said on another episode, that... The story, I was doing fine with the story by not playing the other games, but I'm, I'm pretty sure all of this was answered in the other two games, and I'm, I'm so fucking lost. Well, hopefully they'll clear it up. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. I mean, I haven't played the other games. I mean, they've been having sexual banter back and forth, but I I'm pretty sure they've already had sex. So, holy shit. That's cold. I like how um I like how it actually started pulling um, all the loose objects like it was like a void or something. That was that was pretty cool. They don't usually do that in games. I think that's pretty interesting. A little touch. Um I mean, I'm kind of curious to know what's going on in this world, but I'm kind of not really concerned about what's happened in, in the past because I I didn't play it. I mean, it doesn't... I don't know. I don't think it really affects me. I mean, I might go ask them 
one question or two and see what they are, but I'll probably move on from there. So that's what she looks like. Scars cool. healed nicely. See, Scar, like, I don't know what that's about either. I mean, I'm assuming it had something to do with another game. Look at all the shit in here. Holy crap. It's gonna die. See, this is why you gotta look, like, look around for stuff. Like, I don't know what I just got, but it... I saw blue stuff and items, and I can't check my inventory yet. That sucks. Directly so, Ambassador Vonatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Sure. He seems pretty nice, but I don't know. Sometimes they seem nice, and then they're cocks. All right, how's the how's war going? The war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. It's not a, that wasn't a bad plan. Uh, that a note of admiration I hear. Yeah, I mean, I, that I agree. I hear in your voice. Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Oh, well, that's how the war is going. Uh, what's the situation in Velen, or Velen, hmm. since I'm going there? How do things look in Velen? Bellin. As bad as ever, perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. The I advise Bloody you Baron. Avoid him. We'll probably meet. Uh, what's to do in Novigrad? Yes, from Novigrad. Novigrad. I studied the flames. Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep. Both, and both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these, which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning. How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. 
and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Well, that sounds super shitty. So we have one more option to exhaust, and that'll be all all what's happened since, I guess, the previous game. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Jarls. Alright, well that's, that's about that. Thanks for the help. I definitely got a history lesson. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. <clears throat> Sorry. I didn't mean to, like, push you. Whatever. <clears throat> That's locked. Sucks. I wonder if you can pickpocket in this game. I don't think so. I'm not gonna loot this still. Multiple looting options. I wonder I didn't see it. Is there anything else I missed like that? I mean, you can't ransack uh, an emperor's like bastion every day. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Yeah. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Nobu. Go fuck yourself. Alright, so that quest is completed, Imperial Importance. There's another quest just sitting right there, so I'm I'm gonna grab that because because I want to. All right, Nilf Guardian nobleman. Mm -hmm. uh, you're the Gwent player. What the fuck does that mean? Bet. What is it, like a like a game? No, I don't want to. I don't want to bet anything. No. Go back. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Cards? Oh my god. I don't want to play this. Forfeit game. Don't care. I just lost a, a gold. That wasn't even a quest. That was like some horse shit. Um, is, there, is there a map? And where I'm located? Mm, yeah, I don't see anything. Can you zoom in? Uh, R, R button? R, no, R button. Oh, oh. So it doesn't show anything really on the map unless I'm just not seeing it. Alright, well, I've already explored everything walking around, so I'm, so I'm just gonna leave. Fast travel to uh, not White Orchard. I think it's here. Yeah, it's got the little icon, the little waypoint. Fast travel uh, to the Hangman's Tree. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. 
and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Behest. The plot thickens. Specialized Witcher equipment. That sounds cool. Mm, it's taking a while to load. It must be a loading. I don't know, cutscene or something. They got those really high up in the tree. Like, they tied them way the hell up there. Alright. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I mean, we got through a bunch of story. Uh, the plot's moving nicely. I'm pretty interested to see what's gonna happen next. I mean, we're in a new area. So we'll start the next episode in the new area. Uh, the Nilfgaardian Connection is the quest we'll be doing. So anyway, I, like I said, I, ha I had, had a pretty good time on this one. I'm pretty excited. Um, so that's it for episode 9. You don't have to go home, but you can't game here.